Hello fellow educators and students. Today's video is on browser hijacks. Woohoo! Exciting things to discuss, but can be very, very annoying on your browser experience. Browser hijacks are specifically, at least this video, is specifically related to Google Chrome. Uh, your other browsers can have extensions added in, but I've found this issue is really not a problem in other browsers. One of the side benefits of using the Google Chrome browser, it's one of the most popular browsers used by everybody, so people target it. What a browser hijack is, have you ever been going along and all of a sudden your browser just is really slow, it's just it's doing things that you don't expect it to do when you click on something, you might find all of a sudden your home page has changed. I want to take just a few minutes in this video to show you how to remove those browser extensions and fix your home page if that gets changed. Very easy to do both. This is not a really technical, difficult video, which is the really nice thing about this and can quickly improve your browser experience if you're really being annoyed by these things. There are many, many great extensions out there, and you can go to the Google Web Store is where you can go to to view those extensions and get some good ones. As you'll see, your browser extensions show up over here on the top right corner of your browser, just to the right of your URL bar. And you'll see I've got a bunch of them here. If I hover over them, it tells you exactly what it is. I have LastPass, Grammarly, Speed Test, Privacy, Bitly, Zoom, uBlock, and a color picker, which I use for web design stuff. Those are extensions I've installed. If you look in the top right of your browser, you might see some extensions there you never installed. Um, they can happen very easily if you're not paying attention. Very easy to do, especially as a teacher or a student, if you're trying to get some work done, if you're trying to teach a lesson, and you get all these pop-ups all of a sudden going to a website, and you just kind of click to get through them so you can do what you need to do. That's usually when these things happen. Always take just a quick second to just look at what you're clicking on. I have never had a browser hijack take over my browser and do things I didn't want it to do. That's just because I'm very cautious what I click on. You should always, always be extremely cautious with anything you click on. If you do, you will never have a problem with it. So. When you're browsing along, if you see your home page change, if you have your browser is just doing some really weird things that you don't expect it to be doing, this is when you want to look at your browser hijacks. You might look in your top right corner right now and see some extensions already there that you never put there. So how to remove them? Really easy. On your Mac, this also goes for a Windows machine too, but on your Mac specifically, you can right click and you'll see over the extension I can remove from Chrome. Any of these I click on, I can remove from Chrome. That'll get rid of the extension completely and you never have to worry about it again. It's really nice and easy. However, I have seen some laptops where this extensions bar spreads all the way over to the middle of the screen and you might have 50 or 20 extensions in there. Kind of doing it one by one like that can take a little while. The other thing that's a lot of times will happen is when you remove it from Chrome, it's gonna open up a new tab that says, why are you removing this extension? Well, close that tab out. You do, they don't deserve your opinion on why you're removing something you never wanted to install in the first place. So as soon as that tab opens up, if it does, just close it right down and the app is gone or the extension is gone. You don't need to worry about it. Now there is another way to remove the extensions, especially if you have a bunch of them, this might be a little bit easier. On the right hand side of your browser, you'll see these three little dots. If you click on those, come down to more tools, and then go over to extensions and click on that. Now you'll see one old big list of all the extensions that I have installed in my browser. And you'll see there's a remove button. All you have to do is click remove. Again, the pop-up might appear. If it does, just close it out. Who cares? They don't deserve it. In your browser, if you don't have any, you will probably see a few default Google ones. You can remove them if you want. They really don't do much of anything to disturb any of your things. So I would just leave the one that the Chrome browser has pre-installed. But if you see it, things that you haven't installed that are not from Google, I would remove those. And that's it. Once you remove them, you're good to go. You should notice your browser experience is much, much better. You might have to fully quit your browser and get back in after removing them to really see the benefits. But once you do that, you're good to go. 
Now, if it changed your home page, oftentimes you might open up your browser, and I know one of the big ones I always see is ask.com. Might even get a toolbar for it too. And when you remove that extension, the toolbar will go away. But let's say your, your default search engine changed and your home page changes and all that. Really easy to change it. If you come up and click on these three dots again, and you come down to settings, and you scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see right under this appearance, you're going to see show home button, which I have turned on because I like to have the home button. I set my home page. You can also show your bookmarks bar. If you come down a little further, you'll have search engine. Make sure it says Google. If it doesn't, click on the drop down and make sure it says Google, or you can use any of the other if you have a different search engine you prefer to use, DuckDuckGo is another great one, Yahoo, Bing, eh, Ecosia, any of those ones you can select and off and running. Once, as soon as you select it, you're good to go. You can make it your default browser. This is the other spot. If, face, or if your search engine does not open up when you start your browser or whatever page you had it set to doesn't open, this is where you can change that. So what you can do is click on open a specific set of pages. Most likely it's going to have something listed under that. You can delete it. So I'm going to click add a new page. I'm going to put in Google. I'm going to click add. And now when I open up my browser, it will, it will automatically open up google.com. A cool sidebar here is let's say you tend to visit a bunch of different pages and you like to just have them open at the start. You can add as many pages as you want and those will all open up every time you start up your browser. If you want to remove one of those pages or you, one of the extensions that got installed set up a page for you, you'll see these three dots to the right. Click on those and hit remove. And that's all there is to it. That is a really quick down and dirty way if you have some browser issues going on, they're called browser hijacks, get really annoying. This video will hopefully help you restore your browser experience and make it much more pleasurable. Don't forget to check out my site at adamontech.com where you can submit suggestions or follow up questions to these video tutorials. While there, you can also read my writings that explore a number of topics in greater detail. You can also leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com slash adamontech. Don't forget to hit that like button below. And while you're doing that, also take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest tutorials. So until next time, this is Adam on Tech, signing off.